what's go what's going on guys uh this is an exciting video for me now the reason it's exciting to me is because i literally just 30 seconds ago got done watching the trailer for a crowdfunded game that is inspired by one of my favorite games in my entire life shadow of the colossus now i know you guys are like beastly how some of you guys are like how do you not know about this i don't follow every single thing on the internet and sometimes little things like this go under my radar but when they get noticed, I gotta talk to you guys about it. So, Team Eco created some of the most breathtaking games of all time, in my opinion. Some people think that Team Eco is overrated. I do not. I think games like Shadow of the Colossus just ooze atmosphere. And, and, and uh, just the way that they're crafted and the way they're created do something to you on a psychological level. And it kind of takes you into a whole new world. It's really, really a special feeling playing Team Eco games. One of my favorite games that they ever made, if not the favorite, is Shadow of the Colossus based on the, just based on the fact of how many times I played it, how much fun I had with it, just the, the, I don't even know if you can call it writing, there's really no words in the game, but you do follow this incredible story of the Wanderer trying to save this maiden, and what he has to do in order to do it, it's just really, really incredible to me. And that was a game that I've been really, really hoping and praying was going to get remastered and come to the PS4 with uh, redone controls, giving us more traditional playability. But it doesn't look like that's happening anytime soon. So in my search for anything Shadow of the Colossus, I came across Pray for the Gods, which is a crowdfunded game that I'm proud to say looks very similar to Shadow of the Colossus. It looks like it would be Shadow of the Colossus 2, and I don't have any problem with that. I think anyone who draws inspiration from a game that's as amazing as Shadow of the Colossus gets my respect, especially if they're able to do it in the way that, in this trailer at least, they've appeared to do. I'll drop a link in the description. The Shadow of the Colossus-inspired Prey of the Gods is coming to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Just what we love, a Kickstarter happy ending. Not only has the beautiful-looking Prey for the Gods been crowdfunded to the tune of half a million dollars, it is now confirmed for release on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. The team at No Matter Studios had initially put the console release on a $600,000 stretch goal, but after fan responses, Stretch is focused to making sure the game would work on all consoles. No mean feat, since there's only three of them. Pray for the God pitch... Pray for the gods pitch you against the harsh winter of a desolate frozen island and, oh yes, enormous terrifying gods to take down one by one. And while it's influenced strongly by the PlayStation 2 classic Shadow of the Colossus, it's no mere clone. Quote, As a developer, I look to Shadow of the Colossus as a game that inspires ambition. I watched friends play it, and what I saw blew me away, says developer Brian Parnell of the PlayStation blog. I was amazed at what they accomplished. To push oneself to the limits like Team Ego pushed itself on PlayStation 2 is certainly something I want to honor. When approaching Pray for the Gods, we wanted to embrace that ambition. Our goal isn't to make a sequel or to make a carbon copy of Shadow of the Colossus. We want to push ourselves to create a game that we want to play that exemplifies the core mechanics and atmosphere that one sees. And if we do it right, inspire others to do the same, end quote. This sounds ultra promising. But we'll have to be patient. The estimated delivery date on the game on Kickstarter is currently December 2017. You have to wait for good things. Now, if you guys haven't seen this trailer, uh, it'll make you piss your pants. I This is my first time watching it. And it really does feel like a Shadow of the Colossus uh, uh, sequel. It seems like it's part of that universe. You're a female uh, being dragged through the snow by a wolf. And then it shows like the up-close cinematics of what she looks like. She has a bow and arrow. She has a grappling hook. There was a creature flying around like the fourth boss in Shadow of the Colossus, or fifth boss. And when you uh, you can shoot, she shot at its tail and grappled onto it and repelled up to it. It was just really, really breathtaking. And I cannot wait to see more of this game. Uh, another thing that I feel they should do, speaking of Team Eco, I feel like Team Eco should do this as a sign of goodwill toward the gamers because we've been waiting for 10 years uh, for a game, anything, after Shadow of the Colossus. It's been a long time. And uh, in October, we're going to get uh, the, the Last Guardian, and I'm excited about it. Of course, I'm going to buy that game. I'm going to play that game. But as a sign of goodwill toward gamers, uh, Team Eco, they should include digital versions of uh, Eco and Shadow of the Colossus for free for everybody who had to wait. Because you already know the Last Guardian is going to sell like insane. It's going to do extremely well. They should put Shadow of the Colossus in there 
as an HD remaster for the PlayStation 4 for people who've been waiting all this time. Just to give you a little extra bonus for all the time and all the delays that have taken place behind The Last Guardian. But it looks like Pray for the Gods is a spiritual successor. I'm super excited about it. Didn't know about the Kickstarter. Had no idea this is even happening. I just stumbled across this, but there will be a link in the description. I implore you guys to go check out this trailer. I think this game is going to be awesome. And let me know what you think of the trailer in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.